Ashley. It's great to be here with John. And I wanted to have John up here with me because we made a conscious decision as your Ontario legislature to stand behind Ukraine and make sure that Ukrainians of Canadian descent and those who are new coming to our province understand that we do not agree with Russia. We believe they need to be stopped. And personally, John and I are quite proud to have been, been banned from Russia as a result of our activities. I didn't have to explain my mother um, why it happened. But it's great to be here today, and I say this as somebody who had the opportunity to uh, work in the heritage, sport, tourism, and culture industries, but also was an Minister of Immigration at one point in time. And today what I see is a living, breathing example of a museum. And you're going to think, well, how is it? How is this a museum? Well, I'll take you through a little journey today. Just put your interpretation of your pieces in, which you don't have, so it's just a figure of speech. But when you walk in, you see the portraits from the, from the war itself, on the ground, what it looks like. Some of the challenges that every Ukrainian is facing, sometimes death, sometimes loss of limb, sometimes the entire displacement of their family. And we know that that is happening, and that is why we continue to stand against it. Over here, we look at the doors, one of which belonged to a school, which was shelled by the Russian army. Children on the other side of that door. That story needs, deserves, and should be told. And every one of us should listen to it and heed it. But the biggest was the performance today by the orchestra. The children who, many of whom in February of 2022 had not ever heard of a Canada, now live in a Canada. And in a Canada today, they stood on this stage and they showed the resilience, the defiance, and the strength of the Ukrainian people in Ukraine right now and here, here today to see So on behalf of myself and all of my colleagues in the Ontario Legislature, we may not always get it completely right, but I'll tell you, the one time I know for sure every single one of us were on the right side of history was when we stood behind the people of Ukraine. Groyam Slava.